this is uh, Marty Kokish. Uh, welcome to Marty's Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a dog in your uh, internal combustion engine to increase performance. Um, so, Jovin here is uh, uh, she's about two. Uh, she's still full of lots of spunk, so this is uh, desirable for car mods. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with that, but this is my puppy Jovian! <laughs> Oh. And there's Shanners in the background. There's Shanners. She's Shanner. But she's the shop dog. Uh, these, these, when you hear squeaky noises, this is where they're coming from <laughs> in my videos. So, uh, without further ado, uh, just doing some uh, uh, some more preparation stuff uh, uh, to get ready for to to pull that uh, engine out of there, and uh, I'll just kind of show you what I did today. Uh, first thing I did was I just took off this fan. You don't really need to do this to pull the engine, but uh, um, I think, I think long term I'll be... Shannon. Shannon, are you... That's a good spot to have you. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, uh, I think I might put... This, this is kind of heavy and the engine has to put a little extra effort into spinning this. I might do an electric one that just mounts on the... Uh, uh, on the radiator um, long term. And uh, so I took this off. Who knows if it's going to be on or not. Uh, next thing I did was I uh, uh, took out the distributor. And here is the. I just kind of set it down in here for the time being. But uh, uh, this usually sits like this. And if you want to come over here, I'll show you. Um, it just kind of goes into this hole right here. What I did is I just kind of loosened up this nut right here where my fingers at. Um, and it's just kind of a clamp that holds it in there. And then I just pulled this, this deal out. Um, and uh, after I took it out, the, uh, uh, you want to make sure that the, uh, that uh, uh, you know where to put the, the spark plug leads. Um, so when you put it back together that they fire in the correct order and stuff. So. What I did is I marked on here, it's pretty little, like, you can see, oh, can you see that little three right mm -hmm. there? But I scratched the numbers on each of the, um, each of the connectors here with an X-Acto knife, so I can just go bloop, 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 and put it back together. So, did that. Uh, let's see, what else did we do here? Um, I took out this, uh, this is uh, the oil pressure sending unit. Um, there's a cable that, or like a little tube that runs from here to here that just has a nut on both ends. Uh, disconnected that. Um, and then, uh, what else? Oh, there's a, the, the heater valve right here that, uh, uh, let's see, it sits right like this. I uh, just pulled that out. Um, this, you already had the cable disconnected, but there's a cable that runs from, uh, I don't know, a few episodes ago we talked about the one that adjusts the vent on there. The other one goes to this guy, and it's kind of like the uh, uh, on-off thing that just, uh, let me set this down. Uh, just moves this and it'll open and closes the, uh, the valve to let uh, coolant flow through the, uh, the heater unit. So, um, didn't really need to take it off, but whatever, it's off. Um, I'm bored. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, let's see. Next up, we've got the, uh, this is the ignition coil. Um, there's just two bolts right here holding that in. Um, I just screwed them back in so they're still here. And uh, so that's out of there now. Uh, and then I've got the alternator over here. Uh, I just dropped uh, nothing. Uh, but here's kind of how I went about uh, taking this off. Um, this uh, this bracket on the back here um, is uh, held in place with bolts in these two holes. Just took those two bolts out, and then there's this bolt right here that goes uh, through this hole right here. Just uh, undid the nut on the back of that, and then the uh, the there's an adjustment right here for a tensioner, so you can uh, rock this back and forth and tighten up the belt that goes on there. Uh, just pulled the nut off the front of that, 
Um, uh, well, you know, it was easier to get at since the span was removed, so that might be a reason um, uh, why you could do that. But uh, I don't know, just a little bit of progress, just, I don't know, getting there. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So um, I don't know, as always, the uh, show's available on iTunes and the Zoom Marketplace. If you want to ask me a question or give me feedback of any sort, uh, it's just uh, martysgarage at gmail.com. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else. You can follow me at Twitter. It's www.twitter.com forward slash martysgarage. Um, I primarily use it just to whenever I upload a new show, it just automatically updates my Twitter. So if you want to track when new episodes are coming out, that's a good tool to use for doing that and uh, that's that's about it so um, I don't know. see you next week